when it comes to city gas and uh, gas in general distri distribution, technology also plays a lot in terms of distribution and generation of gas. How can some of the solutions private providers here help us give an insight into some of the technologies being provided, uh, being developed actually to to drive the market, drive and drive competition in the market? Maybe we what we will just to throw where city gas play our market segment that would give a flavor of how we see the growth would be. It's a very small one. Uh, in terms of pipe gas, going by Tun Suan's definition. Uh, the other competition inside there is, of course, uh, electricity. Yeah, interview competition. Uh, interview. Cylinder gas. And then uh, pipe gas. So, over the last few years, we have looked at it on a broader basis. And where we are, about 42% of our sales is actually in the residential about 50 or more is it in the commercial sector and then uh, the remaining is in the industrial side. Yeah. So we are still quite heavy on the commercial side and commercial very competitive. In Well residential because consumer, the gas piece of the whole bill is fairly small. Yeah. So I think the challenge for us, city gas see probably a lot of potential in the residential side in a sense. There's a lot of scope I mean, in one of the areas that we see ourselves is that probably gas in the whole chain with electricity for appliances that we can replace, we are greener. So yeah. that, that's, that's a very interesting issue because I mean just looking at what's happening in the UK and Europe, mm. the whole electric versus gas argument is yeah. a very, very strong one at the yeah. moment. Mm. And there's there, is, <laughs> there is a real fear actually, uh, I say it's a fear, but I think that there are scenarios uh, which are very strongly um, upheld which suggests that gas distribution particularly will dwindle significantly over the next 10 to 20 years as the, uh, the government supports a more electric future. So power generation followed by electricity transmission and distribution is seen okay. to be a more likely scenario than gas distribution. So I guess that has to be part of the weighted argument is, sure. is the future electric? Because in, in the UK, for example, there's been a decision to make, made to move towards electric vehicles, sure. uh, which means a massive upgrading of the electricity system uh, and, 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 and zero carbon homes, mm. uh, which means no <coughs> gas supply to people's homes. And, and that means that the distribution network is potentially under threat. Mm. Uh, and that's not just the UK, but I think Europe as well. Some parts of Europe are, are looking in similar directions. But there's a, there's a lot, a lot of green arguments in favour of gas, mm. as opposed to electricity as well. Mm. And there's a lot of new appliances. I mean, the technology argument. I mean, some of the small distributed generation appliances, which yeah. potentially are a lot yeah. greener than electricity yeah. in many ways. Yeah. And particularly when you look at transmission losses. Okay, Singapore is a relatively small yeah. island, but yeah. still, transmission generation there's a lot of efficiency losses. So there's a big argument to be made for gas versus electricity, I think, as well as mm. as well as just whether the conversion program takes place. Sure. So what does the future look like in the wider in the wider sense? Mm. Uh, so that's that's I think that's a very that's a, uh, I think it's a question Singapore will probably have to face as well, um, particularly considering that how technologically advanced Singapore tends to be. You know, it tends to be often ahead of, ahead of the rest of the world in terms of implementation of technology. And smart networks and smart grids are yeah. a part of the future. Yeah. Robert, uh, actually, this interesting point about carbon green. Uh, the interview competition on the street and gas, I think, play out a different part of the world. But I personally always say, you know, if you think uh, at the customer endpoint, if you think certain things they think the electricity may be, they will argue is more efficient or even safer, but mm -hmm. I would say, how does the uh, power production come about? Are they clean, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if a firehouse from combined cycle gas turbine, relatively clean. Okay? Mm -hmm. If I have a coal fire, you mm -hmm. really want to trace the carbon footprint, yep. uh, that's no good, right? Uh -huh. but people tend to ignore this argument. But I think the guest guy will, will always play this. You know, city guest start to advertisement about yeah, 
eco-friendly, less carbon, you know, I took that slide, I went to Taipei in a conference, I flagged it out to show them how, how the gas guy can market because you, you are, it's a, you are right, you are more eco-friendly, you know, compared. Of course, if somebody produces power for hydro, yep. then, then yes. you, you, you have to keep quiet for a little while. <laughs> and you have to be careful which market you are and which argument you, you want to use. Yes. But for city gas as a whole, whether you are the manufactured gas or whether it is natural gas, to continue to grow a market out beside, um, beside uh, what you call power generation and to have a good chance to fight with uh, electricity is really to grow the utilization. I mean, mm -hmm. there's no brain about it. You know, the old day we know, you, you supply the pipe gas to the house, you don't want it to use for cooking and heating, yeah. you want them to use a gas heater. They yeah. double the volume right away, you know. Yeah. And for the same investment, you double the volume. Yeah. Uh, if they're going to for uh, get gas dryer, yes, uh, that's better still. It triple the <laughs> the Sorry. demand, you know. So so, but that is the dominant. Then of course, uh, at one time, uh, NGB is very big. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly we have this argument about oh, electric vehicle is better. Then I ask the same question. <laughs> Where does the electricity come from? Mm -hmm. You know, are they from coal power plant or they are from a nuclear plant, the hydro plant, you know, yes. the gas plant? Oil plant. Then, then really you can yes. put the equation right to compare carbon footprint. You know, then the gas have a good idea <laughs> to find some of these interfuel competition. I, I, that, that's my view. You can you can do that uh, analysis to see what the carbon footprint yes, is, but you also you also really need right. to do the analysis to see what the cost of that of reducing right. that carbon right. footprint yes. is. And if you look at electric sure. electric vehicles versus NGVs, yeah. I think sure. you'll find the cost of reduction of carbon for electric vehicles is a lot more than the cost of reduction of carbon for the NGV. NGVs. Sure. Yeah. And that's that has to be factored into the equation as well. And yes. that's going to be different depending on your generation mix, and yeah. it's going to be different depending on your market. Yeah. All of these things have to be seen as challenges in terms of making some sort of longer term decisions.